Last year, California fishermen brought in $100 million less than they did the year before. We have our years where we still catch, but overall it seems like there's a lot less fish in the fishery. The food web off uh, the Northern California coast depends on cold water. We have uh, high abundances of organisms because we have this process we call upwelling. So on the western margin of the continent, we have offshore winds. They're constantly blowing water away from the surface, and that water is replaced by water coming up from depth. That water at depth tends to be nutrient-rich. Warmer water means less nutrients, which means essentially starvation of many organisms in the food web. We lose a lot of the animals that our fisheries depend upon. I hear about the warmer waters, especially the last two or three years, and whether we're going to have to adjust forever, or I think a lot of guys are going to hope that maybe we'll get three or four years of cold water and they'll be able to make their money again and maybe take a hit here and there. But if it's like this every year where we don't know if we're even going to go fishing, it's just no one will be able to make it. Last year, the warm water caused a huge algal bloom up and down the west coast, which infected the crabs with a toxin called domoic acid, which can hurt people if they eat crab. Last year, we didn't have a very good salmon season either. It was also a warm water issue, but in this case, it was because of the drought and because of diversions of water to farms and to cities instead of to areas where the salmon spawn. There were a lot of other species that were having issues. There was the Pacific sardine population that collapsed about two years ago. It's right now at one-tenth of its estimated size from 2007. There's also some indication that it had to do with warm water. The fishermen are hopeful, and really that's all they can be, is hope that things get back to normal and fish as hard as they can and do what they do best. They need to take care of their family or pay off their bills. They're not trying to destroy a fishery, they're trying to keep it sustainable so that we can do it for a long time. Fishermen play by the rules around here and do the right things and they want this to succeed, you know, they don't want to see it go under. It's also important to remember there are a lot of other fisheries here that are pretty plentiful. And even when salmon is available, the salmon that we actually get is very well managed, so I wouldn't discourage people from eating it when you can. <laughs>